We're at station nine on Quint nine. The rig designation number is 1265. It's a 2012 Pierce 105 foot aerial. And we're just gonna go through a few things on how to start it, how to pump with it, and set up the aerial, and then we'll go through the compartments and show you the tools we have on it. First of all, here's the battery switch. Turn it on. Secondly, hit the ignition, ignition switch on and let the computer cycle through its, uh, its thing before you start it. Uh, one issue we have is you don't want to use the steering wheel to pull yourself up. We've got handles here and here. Get in the truck. Above the ignition, ignition switch is the start switch. Push that, the rig will start. Up here, on the top left, is the emergency master lights. That will turn on the lights for you. We'll shut those off because that's kind of distracting. And another important uh, button up here that we use a lot is the siren brake. Um, so siren's really loud. Uh, a lot of drivers don't know about this, but this will cut the siren when you get to a call. We'll go over the aerial first. Position the truck at the scene. Put it in neutral. Set the air brake. We want to engage the front wheel lock right here. And then you're going to hit aerial master and aerial PTO. They're right next to each other on the top left. Okay, that'll, that'll get you set up to run the aerial. We'll shut these off and go to the back and show you where the outriggers are. There are one set of chalks on this truck on the officer's side. They do not need to be touching the tire, but we do want them in front of the mud flap. Don't put the chalk behind the mud flap. Okay, uh, the pads for the outriggers are located on both sides of the truck in the rear. As you can see down here, um, we'll pull the pads out and set those. And then we're going to come back around to the back of the truck. When setting up the aerial, uh, the manufacturer suggests that you run both outriggers all the way out. Uh, you don't need to have it on high idle. It won't change how fast the outriggers move out. So put both outriggers out, and then as you're watching the outriggers, bring both outriggers down just till they touch the pads. Come to the other side, bring both outriggers out, bring them down, and touch, touch. So out, touch, touch, then lift this side, then come back and adjust this side. As you can see, we have a leveling system here. It does not need to be at zero, okay? As long as that bubble is in the green, you are fine. Another good point to make with this truck is the tires do not need to come off the ground. I'm gonna say that one more time. The tires do not need to come off the ground to set up the aerial. It's preferred that you leave them on the ground. You just wanna take some weight off the suspension with the outriggers. Uh, then we can go up on top. Oh, there's also a leveling system on the side here. Thanks, Joel. Uh, if you're uh, on a steep hill, you should be in the green. As I said, anything within 5%, either way, you're good to go. It does not need to be at zero. I know there's some uh, perfectionists out there, but things need to get done. As long as you're in the green, they're going to work. Uh, one more point. There's a lot of sensors on this truck that will trigger things. They look like this right here. If you can zoom in. So when this ladder is up, it'll come up by itself, and you think the ladder's closed, but there's a space in here, and that sensor won't, uh, it'll keep you from uh, taking off. There'll be a red light and an alarm inside. Everything needs to be closed tight, so that sensor senses that the ladder's put back.